Here's the key man key moment of the match, and Dunny hits the red card. Yeah, it's a dangerous play because Dimir has put his legs together over the ball. Now, the question is, when he steps through, right there, it's a dangerous play, but there's a little kick in there. But whatever Grueso said right there, Dimir stood up, reacted, and there's the hit. For all the fans telling me he didn't touch him, he, he absolutely touched him. And it doesn't matter how hard he hit him, but the moment you go head-to-head -head with any player, Listen, it's one of the things that the league is really focused on, that pros really focused on. Um, and if he hadn't been shown a red, I think there would have been a retroactive disciplinary committee action that had been put in play. Um, listen, I, I get it, fans. I, 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 I get it. I understand where you're coming from. You feel like everything's against you, kind of the small market against the big market. I get all that, uh, you know, DC controversy, LAFC controversy, tonight controversy. But the way that Pro is implementing these rules and the laws of the game, they, they think they're clean. They think they're, you know, we spent an hour and a half with Howard Webb this week <laughs> trying to explain to us yeah. exactly where he was coming from and what he was thinking. So, um, yeah, I, based on the letter of the law, it's a red card. And they're going to enforce the letter of the law because it's about player safety. And yeah. You can't have head-to-head -head yep. contact. Yep. And you can't put yourself in a gray area where even if you're right, you can still Let's be say, judged wrong. Let's switch it around. If Carlos Grueso popped up and head-butted Dami and Dami went to the ground. That's straight red. That's different. It's a straight red. Yeah. I mean, you got to call it down the middle.